Here is a Amazon Fire TV. I'm going to show you how you can white cache partition. Now we won't need a remote for this. Also in regards to wiping the cache partition, what does that do? That actually just deletes temporary files that you really don't need anyway. Wiping the cache partition can fix a lot of issues on your TV. Maybe uh, one of your apps is slow or it's uh, taking forever to open. Uh, maybe the TV is laggy or it's like a slow response. Maybe you have uh, audio issues, maybe it's echoing, or maybe picture issues where there's like lines in the TV. Anyway, it's possible that a wiping the cache partition can fix it, okay? Now again, we're not gonna need the remote, okay? So the first thing you gotta do is find where the power button is on the TV, okay? So for my Amazon Fire TV, mine is directly below it. As you can see, right here, okay? If yours is uh, not right here underneath the middle, then look on the uh, left or right side, look over here, even look up here. Same with the other side, okay? You gotta find that power button. Anyway, when you, once you find your power button, first thing you wanna do is this, okay? We're gonna go ahead and pull the plug to the TV, just like that. Next thing is find the power button, mine is right here. You wanna press and hold and do not let go, okay? So the power button is right here. I'm gonna go ahead and press it right now, press and hold. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the plug my TV back in. I'm still holding on to the power button. I'm not going to let go of that power button until I see the Fire TV logo appear on the TV. Still holding on to the power button. Where's that logo at? Typically takes about 10 seconds. There it is. Go ahead and let go and this should boot us up right into the Android recovery menu. So give it a second here. Voila. Okay. Now, from here what we want to do is we want to go down to white cache partition. We want to highlight that, okay? So how do you do that? Just go wherever your power button is and we're going to go ahead and click, tap once, tap again, tap again, okay? Now it's that white cache partition, as you can see right there. Now in order to select it, now we have to press, just press and hold the uh, power button until this blue highlight turns a different color, okay? So ready, set, press and hold, change its colors and go ahead and let go, okay? Now this message here is basically saying once you do this, this cannot be undone. That's fine, we're only wiping the cache partition. So we wanna go down, we wanna highlight yes. So go back to your power button. We're gonna click it once, highlight yes. Now to select it, we're gonna press and hold that power button and just wait for this blue to change colors. Okay, ready, go. Press and hold, change the colors, go ahead and let go. And it's actually uh, done uh, wiping the cache partition. Now it uh, defaults back up here where it says reboot system now is what we want. So we're gonna select that. So just press and hold until the blue here changes color. Now let go and let the system, let the TV boot back up now. Just let it boot back up. It takes a little bit longer to uh, boot back up once you wipe the uh, cache partition. So just be patient here. Okay, great. So we're done. You just wiped the cache partition. Now, if you wiped the cache partition and this helped you with a particular uh, issue, please comment below so other people can see as well. Okay, good luck, guys.